you, Brian. Now to a breaking update on a series of murders in San Diego. Police just confirmed the name of the man found burned and said that he was already dead when his killer set him on fire. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is joining us now live at Robb Field, where the most recent of these three attacks on homeless people took place. Rachel. Kimberly, during the day, Rob Field is busy with kids playing sports and families out here walking their dogs. And just a few feet away, you can see somebody put a plant in memory of the homeless men who have been killed. It has been a vicious series of attacks that included one guy getting doused with gasoline and set on fire. This is my worst fear. It's my worst fear. Scott Eldridge's worst fear happened just feet away from where he and his girlfriend sleep. That's the spot right where we were staying right there. And a uh, gentleman that was found was right over there at the end of the fence and up to the right. A cyclist found the victim near the tennis courts at Robb Field Monday morning. Police will only say the man suffered fatal injuries to his upper body. The attack here, the third one in 24 hours. The victims, all homeless men, all likely sleeping. We're vulnerable, I guess. We're the forgotten ones. Police found the first victim Sunday morning near Morena Boulevard in the 5 North. Investigators say the man was killed and then set on fire. The second victim survived but suffered life-threatening stab wounds. Police found him near the sports arena. Police just released this new video of the man they say is connected to the attacks. Surveillance photos show him looking at gas cans in the Shell station just blocks from where the burned body was found. A witness also reported seeing a man run across the five near Claremont Drive carrying a gas can. That's why I sleep with one eye open, one eye closed. And we now know the identity of the man who was killed and then set on fire. His name is Angelo DiNardo. He was 53, believed to be homeless, but he had family in Pennsylvania. Reporting live in Ocean Beach, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.